Hello and welcome to Pandora Astrology's monthly horoscope for Sagittarius. I'm Jamie Kill Miller. And I'm Julia Mijas, and hello there, Sagittarius. I'm going to tell you about what to expect from your career and your relationships this month. So starting off the bat, you know, the beginning of the month, we have a lot of planetary activity in your fourth house. So your mind is much more on your home life at the start of the month than on career. However, the ruler of your career, which is Mercury, moves into the fifth house a little later on in the month. And the fifth house is just such a fun place. It's a creative place. It's a self-expressive place. Um, it can rule just fun places and things like games and things like hobbies. So this is going to be a month where you can add a little bit of self-expression into your career. Um, you know, if you do already an aesthetic or an artistic career, or if you have a career where you work in, let's say, a bar or a casino or um, places of amusement are the fifth house. So, so you know, fun places to kind of hang out. This, this is also like a social events kind of house, too. Um, that could be sort of a spotlight on what's going on now. So, yeah, bring a lot of creativity into your career this month. We because the ruler of the 10th is in that super, super creative um, house. And the 10th house ruler, Mercury, is going to go retrograde next month. Just heads up. Not happening quite yet. You, you might be feeling it a little bit by the very, very end of this month. So career, there might be more miscommunications and, um, you know, times of review, going back over things in career. So expect a, a few bumps on the road a little bit later um, on in the year, just by the end of this month and into next uh, when it comes to relationships, we look at our, our favorite relationship planet, Venus. Uh, she starts off the month in your third house. Now, the relationships which are characterized by the third house are things like your siblings, uh, you know, your cousins, other types of sort of extended relatives can be the third house as well. It also rules your neighbors and your neighborhood and your local, local community. So your social life is taking place with your local community for the beginning of the month. You know, maybe you're inviting neighbors over. Maybe you're going to a little astrology workshop, you know, in your town somewhere. Um, but that's where the focus of your relationships is going to be at the beginning of the month. But then you're going to, after the 11th, when Venus moves into that fourth house, you're just going to be focusing on your family and your home. If you are currently in a long-term relationship, then this is going to be more of a time of just kind of snuggling up on the couch, hanging out at home, being domestic together, which is really, really nice. If you're single, I'd wait another month until Venus goes into your fifth house because that's going to be really primo. So another wait, wait a little bit longer for Venus entering the fifth if you're single, uh, but just enjoy your home life this month. Ah, uh, such good stuff. Hmm. Well, let me go into finance for you, Sagittarius. Um, now, in the last couple of horoscopes, I might have mentioned that Saturn is traveling your fourth house this year. So... You might find yourself getting involved in a home construction project. It wouldn't be surprising at all. It could be as big as a major fix or as small as just patching some things that bug you about your nest. And you might be wondering how you're going to pay for it. Um, this month could bring the answer, especially if you respond to the pressure of Ceres, which is traveling through your second house. Now, Ceres is the ruler of the second house, and she does love to be there. And she's in Capricorn, which is a sign that's very organized. This suggests that she's supporting you in organizing your finances so that you can get home projects done and get some things fixed that will make your nest not more comfortable right away, but in the future, not too far out. Um, so Ceres is here to help, but she is going to go retrograde in the next couple of months, something to watch out for. But I just wanted to mention that a little bit later this month, around March 20th to 21st, Venus is going to catch up with that Saturn and also be connecting with Ceres, helping them to work together on, um, on these, the financial aspects especially, and the structural aspects of, um, of these home projects that you might be doing. Now, I just want to say that astrology, you, you probably realize this is not just literal, it's also metaphorical. Sometimes a home construction project is within. Hmm. And so if you're working on your family relationships with like, you know, a family member that's estranged or, um, you know, trying to set some healthy boundaries, emotional boundaries with family members, 
all of this stuff could translate into that as well. But any way you look at it, March 20th to 21st is a really good time to forward these things with the help of Venus. Well, that's all for today. If you had fun with this horoscope, please do hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and tell all your friends about us. You can find our site at pandoraastrology.com to get a reading with one of us and find us on Patreon for workshops and classes. And we'll see you around the cosmos. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.